so we hop into the second round of the Green Tractor Classic. Didn't end round one the way that we would have liked to, but we've got 18 holes to make up for it here. Winds stay high, this time out of the north. Fairways drop down to firm, but greens firm up and greens slow down. So they do give us a little bit of a balance there, but it's going to be probably tough to get some of these close. So first tee here, we've got a 443 yarder dog leg slightly left, wind slightly in and downhill. We're just going to get this thing started left, feeding right. Mayhaps a little bit too far right. I think this should hold though. Alright, that'll play. We're in the fairway. That is the biggest thing here. So high winds sitting roughly about 10 in the face. It's the very firms that concern me. So I want to play just a little bit aloft, but I also don't want to do anything too crazy here. Where did my tempo go? Where, oh where? Oh, where did my tempo go? All right, we gotta get... We gotta get scrappy. We gotta get scrappy. Gonna have to find ways... Find ways to score around here. Not gonna score on the first hole. But we're gonna have, like, we need better tempos than that. You can definitely get away with missing tempos. You can't get away with missing tempos like that. I probably should have played loft on that. Like, now that I'm thinking about it, even though we're drifting it, Mostly around the trees. Some of those branches stick out fairly low. Alright, so holes cut in the back left. I suppose... Hmm. The 225... Everything's feeding so far, but I think if you give it enough cut, this should actually start to come back. And then you're trying to get that draw shape to feed it to the back corner. I think I might have left it a little bit too far to the right. Like, it's starting to feed left, but, yeah, just leave it on the other side of this ridge. So, it's a decent idea. But just not gonna quite be it. Alright, we're gonna get this going up. It's gonna be breaking right to left. Momentum going to take it down somewhere out here, maybe? That's not going to break enough left at the end. As it straightens out. Oh, but the pace. Pace was pretty good. Alright, we'll get in there for a birdie. Get a score on the card. Oh, that's a nasty little location, isn't it? 226 it would be, and then win back in. 10 mile an hour wind on the diagonal. So say that plays 10. 
You're landing it like a yard short. I mean, essentially, you're trying to play the cut back up against this and roll it the rest of the way. Not terrible. Not terrible. This is, at least to me, this feels like a very difficult hole to get after. Come on. Big putt. That's actually in a spot that's not too bad, right? Because if you got it up here and then it feeds... If you go long, you've got like a flop shot over... If it rolls, if you can get it rolling right to left and stay on, you can feed it down into, like, here. I don't think you can go right at it. Let's see here. Little partial driver here. Maybe slow. Come on, be left enough. That might be too high. Although, you know what? With that being fast greens, that's actually not bad. Because with that being fast greens, we hold fairway. If that was firmer or faster, actually, I think if it was just faster, we'd be out the, out into the light rough, which would change the complexion of this. So a little bit partial, I think. That's good. When you know, you know. Yo, what's going on, Mikey? Alright, uh, I think you get this. Going right to left here. So it should get just enough kick left to steer it clear of the rough. Now you leave yourself a little short one. 55 yarder. Now the question is, do you take pitching wedge flop? With mostly spin. The other option is like this is. You could take a. You could take a pitch. I don't really want to go with like the long and roll back. I think I do want to go with the roll up. So I'm gonna try this.
I'm surprised the win played that much. Really thought that push would... Because I've had so many where the push goes so far to the right. I don't know if tempo just has a bigger effect or how that works. Either way. Either way. Get up, get down. Five under through five. So, like, last round... Yeah, round one and round two having similarities in terms of scoring on the front nine. We just got to get that scoring to continue through the back nine. Sixty-eight. Fifty-nine. Problem is you're dealing with the, like... Nine iron, we could catch. One sixty-eight. Let's call this like nine miles an hour, right? One fifty-nine. Be somewhere back in here. But maybe. Maybe that's okay. The feet right, isn't it? That's the right distance. Unfortunately, I just misplayed the angle there. Which is none too surprising. Side winds have forever plagued my game. And probably will forever haunt me. I don't I don't know how to There's just something with it it doesn't I haven't found anything that clicks. Actually kind of flat, like, right at the hole there. The thing is, it's so nasty at the end of this. Come on, you gotta turn in. You suck. Just a touch overplayed. Maybe a touch firm on the putt. Could be that it was a touch firm, could be that I just just misjudged one of those a touch. Either way, I gotta be happy with the effort. We miss it high side. None of the low side shenanigans that we're used to. Alright, very firm kick. Let it bounce. Input felt good, but, um, yeah, when you're off by that much, that's pretty disappointing. But this is what we deem chippinable. It's gonna come out a little short, a little runny. Probably come out a little bit to the right as well. A hopper and a runner right to left.
You take what you can get. You absolutely just take what you can get. I'm not going full send on this solely for the fact that I was scared if I full send, we're going to end up somehow making it through to the rough on the other side. I don't know if that's actually the case, but that was my reservation. Okay, so this is just get it to that back spot to make sure you've got something uphill. This is uphill even more. Still probably plays about 200 or so. Very firm and fast. Like, I don't want to leave it short. I don't want to get too cute. But I also don't want to, like, run it so hard we get into the, the heavy rough. I don't know. If we go here, 214... 200 and nine, maybe. Very firm, and then like the four iron's gonna go quite a bit. 202, 198, a little bit further. I'm just gonna play the four iron with some loft. I think is actually how we're gonna play this. I think that's probably the most middle ground play we could have. I played it slow, but this all feeds right to left, so I'm not too concerned about that miss hit. We've got little, little, little bits of break here. It's really not a lot. Just enough. But just enough. Okay, I actually do think the driver is too much here. Yeah, now I don't know if full three wood is the play or if I should have tried to make a punchier drive just to squeeze some more distance out, but I think driver goes too far. Which is unfortunate for this because just looking at our approach, like now you're taking six iron. Hoping that this ends up being okay, though. Ah, bad input. I slammed the stick forward. That's okay. It's gotta happen. Now we gotta just play an around-the-world putt and make sure that we land it somewhere. Somewhere near the hole. That may have been too firm. We'll see, though. The line looks decent at the moment. Yeah, there's the firmness. No, don't get ahead of myself. Don't get ahead of myself. That's how we, we end up taking, like, a random bogey. Right, 
eight under going out again. Now let's like keep this thing going down the back nine. And put something real nice together. 580 into a headwind, so you're gonna have to send it. I only get one or two out of it. I don't think that's gonna be enough. 274. Yeah, ultimately, I don't think we ever really had a chance. Unless we got, like, a really good lie. Because driver off the deck here, 85% gives you... Like, 258 gives you, like, that driver distance. Now, this would be 258 plus... 5 on the downhill, 263 plus 14 on the full shape... 277, and then win. Ah, actually, you know what? Screw it. Should get to the right-hand side of the green. Driver off the deck, definitely the play. Gonna be a hard one to hug that left side with. Because if you try and shape it back, you're going to need too much shape in order to get it, and then you're losing too much distance. Okay, maybe let's, uh, let's cash something in here. That would be pretty snazzy. Yeah, what's going on, Hustler? Welcome back. So much break in these early parts of the putt. So much break in these early parts of the putt. And then it slows down quite a bit, but you gotta have the whole read. Too much of a too much of a misread on those early ones. They just they just snap so much harder. There's not really much to the end of that putt, but there's so much break early on. Just did not have the read for it correct. All right, we do not have tree trouble this time, which is very very good. Got a little bit more distance, maybe. 157. Uphill 156, and then you get about 12 in. Very firm. Should give a little loft, a little backspin. Maybe don't even need the backspin. Should try and hold things up. Pretty nicely. Ah, fast. And under hit it. I'm now realizing that I somehow hit a 95% shot. Had a couple of these where I just don't fully swing the club. Never great. Never great. Sometimes gonna happen, but you hate to see it. Alright, so let's just envision this pie breaking quite a bit. 
early on. As it slows and comes up over the hill. I think we're in a good spot for it here. Under hit it. So it's going to go low there. I, with the right power, we may have just been a touch low as well. Okay, I do not have what it takes to get there with the overpower. So what we need to do... Play a big fade, get it down on the ground here so it has enough time to stop before the bunker. All right. Let's make sure we get a full shot. Even though it's a pitch this much uphill, like I think I think a gap wedge pitch does not have the legs for this. And you probably want to be playing a pitch shot to negate spinning it back too much so this would be 94 probably say about 90 and then you're uphill and into wind 86 which would be at the top of this thing but if i go if i go gap witch pitch i just don't think i have it i think we're talking maybe like a big d loft on it maybe that's the key Little bit slow. Big D loft definitely was the play. If you can give yourself a chance to roll up the hill, then that's obviously ideal. Oh, that's almost high. Oh, boy. All right, hole is back. Over here, you're splitting two trees. That's pretty narrow, but then it's only one. But you still have to play with the tree off the right either way. So I think we're going to take this one on. Feeds right to left. Wind right to left. So you should be able to get it up and around this tree. Very firm. So you can give it, I think, a good amount of bite and just let it... A little fast, but it should bounce forward and then just grab and sit. Okay, that's a couple of them there that have, like, I'm hitting it just on the high side of the cup, and I'm a little bit shook by it, because the number of times that we normally have been missing low versus high, it's getting a little scary. All right, 248. That's going to get us on the green 13 yards to work with. What is the front edge, though? 241. Mm -hmm. 
This is, a, this is not an easy shot. I hit it too fast. Wind might hold it up, but we're gonna be short now because of that fast. Yeah, shame. Uphill should affect. I think it's uphill, so like it's gonna take away some of the right to left, but not enough of it. Too long. Okay, not as bad as I thought, but that initial kick just took it a little further. It scared me. I hate this hole, by the way. Par hole every single time. I'm just never one to make the, like, miracle bird here. side and drop in so as long as as long as that's the case i'm okay with it all right was well, it four holes to go here let's see what we can do yep this is gonna be another one that we have to lay back gonna take the driver this time though instead of the three wood So obviously, I'd like the extra distance if I can have it. 146 uphill and wind. So can you take this 11 mile an hour wind and cut it down enough? And that I don't know, because I think we're already like pin high with this. And you're trying to cut like six yards out. So I don't think that's going to be the play. 158, 1... 56, 55 or so. I don't think we're going to quite lose 11 because it's uphill, but we're going to lose a good bit. So 11 will be 44. So we got to not do it too much, but like definitely enough. Uphill, but we push into it. I'm just gonna play backspin. If we go long, we go long. Not as fast as I thought it was. Still fast. That's obviously taking us long but we're up on the right shelf it's just a long downhiller have to make sure that we don't blast this by the hole have to be pretty not cons i mean fairly conservative Alright, um... 
All the break is happening right at the start. Close. Close, close, close. Now what's going on, Joshua? This is uh, this is actually a Stream Beats playlist uh, by Harris Heller. The song is Neurotronic, which I will drop the song if you're in. Actually, let me grab the whole playlist. Copy link. So that's the Spotify playlist. It's a whole DMCA free uh, synthwave playlist. Ooh, that is a fun lie. And 323, well, actually 270, 285. This is so close. Um. Low roll, 273, 277, 291, high roll, 299. Honestly, I kind of think something like this, I'm going to try and overpower it. One oh two, we might have the legs come on. Ah oh, man, that's so close. We baby fast it, and we probably got low rolled, so that ends up canceling out. If you can get like one oh four on that, chase this thing to the back. Oh, that would have been something. And no problem, Josh. Uh, I think we might have to go sandwich just given given the lie and everything. So we got to get it back to 35 yards. I mean from the lie and everything you're talking 40 243. You actually easily lose 7 off of that. Um So do you try and That'd be 50, 48, let's call it 47, maybe 46. And then you're taking 18 yards off or 20, let's call it 20 yards off of that. Be 26, nine yards short. I'm just thinking, like, can you if you can get it comfortably to the back edge, maybe with no like with just backspin or something, get it there and just spin it back towards the hole. And you've got an uphill to catch you. This is an interesting shot, as I think we have options on how we play this. Six point sixty-eight. Forty-eight, forty-five. I'm gonna take full up. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna take just a stock lob wedge pitch shot here. Go to the backstop and spin this thing back. I mega slowed it, and I'm going to completely not do that. Gosh darn it! Where are these mega slows coming from? Like, why do I just sometimes not swing? That shot was gonna be so cool. Knucklehead. Is 
Definitely am disappointed. Definitely am disappointed. But I guess, ultimately, a birdie is a birdie. Ultimately, a birdie is a birdie, so... We'll take it. Uh... 200... You gotta get 14 yards, which I think you can do. So I think you're going... Yeah, 14 yards with the very firm bounce. We're gonna try and draw it. I slowed it though. It's the right idea, just the slow pushes us a little bit more to the right. But 10 feet, so we still have a look. Just a double breaker here. Right, the feet straightens out and then turns back at the hole. It's actually already kind of turning back there. Really, that ends up being a straight putt. Ah, that's a shame. That's a shame. Snapped a little bit harder at my feet. Which it was tough because it was... It was progressively breaking more behind my foot. 524 on the par 4. I really don't want to lay up. But I'm thinking I'm going to have to, which is just... Really unfortunate. Because you need 370 to that gap. That's not happening. I can give you like 330 tops and then barrel on down into that. So let's... Oh, is that going to end up being too much to... I'm I'm dumb. I meant to deal off that the inverse. Alright, well. Whoops. <laughs> I, I, I de-lofted it a touch, but in my head I meant to go full de-loft and take off a touch. So we, uh, we don't have a fairway to work with on this hole. That's, uh, that's my bad. Getting the brain all twisted up. Alright, um... 163-ish, and then wind, and then bounce and release, so I think you give it a little... little loft? Something along that line? We got a little, we got a little posy raid. What's going on, posy? How's everybody doing? We are, uh, we are coming to the concluding sections of our competitive golf rounds for this evening. But I hope you had a good stream, posy. I hope everybody coming in from posy's stream is doing well. My name's Colby. We, uh, we stream competitive virtual golf. That's, uh, that's pretty much our main stick. Although, main stick, not stick. I don't have some stick with golf on it. Actually, I do. There are golf clubs in the garage. 
but that's besides the point. Um, where is this going? I don't freaking know, man. <laughs> Play. We played competitive virtual golf. I I am playing through Elden Ring DLC on the side. Playthrough is gonna go up on YouTube. The, my first boss, my first big boss is probably unexpected. All right, <laughs> let's uh let's try and make a putt. Heavy break left to right at the start. Cress over and then slow drifter back right to left. It's not going to drift enough back. Yeah, it kind of straightened out, to be honest. Played some FIFA versus Donnie? Oh, man. Some FIFA. I haven't played FIFA in a long time. Probably would be fun to play with a friend. I got suckered into the ultimate team grind. That was a mistake. All right, so 11 under, 12 under, and if we're going to be upset about how we've played the back nines and be three strokes off of the top 10, then I guess I guess we've done well. Also, that hurt because I rammed my shoulder the other day, carrying my son up the stairs. We got, like, a little ledge. Now I, like, readjusted him and stood up into it. Doesn't hurt... Normal motion, fine. I touch it. it. Oh, it hurts so bad. All right, but enough of that. We got two more rounds left here, and uh, I think I think we could set up for for a solid finish this week. 